Here we're going to play with these numbers and we're going to start with 135. So what's 135 equal to? Well, we can think of it as 1 to the first power plus 3 to the second power plus 5 to the third power. And what I mean is these things are equal. 1 to the first power is 1, 3 squared is 9, and 5 to the third power is 125. Add all of these up and you get 135. So what did I do right there? Well, I just took the three digits, one, two, three, and then added them up, and I used exponents and raised those up one each time. So the first digit to the left, the highest, is raised to the first power. The second digit is raised to the second power, the tens digit, and the units digit, the first digit, is raised to the third power. And this works for so many numbers, and these numbers are fun to generate as well. So 175. That works as well. 1 to the first power plus 7 to the second power plus 5 to the third power. That equals 1 plus 49 plus 125, and that is 175. Amazing! And we can keep going. If we were to try the number 518, that is equal to 5 to the first plus 1 to the second plus 8 to the third. And 5 to the first, that's 1, uh, that's 5, excuse me. 1 to the second, still 1. So we have 6 so far. And what is 8 to the third power? Well, 8 times 8 equals 64. And 64 times 8 is what? Well, 8 times 60 is 480. 8 times 4 is 32. Add up those, and we get 512. So that's like 512. And that makes sense, right? I should have known that. 5 and 1 is 6. And I should have known the rest had to be 512 because the sum of 5, 1, and 5, 12 has to equal 5, 18. And we can keep going with this. There are so many numbers where this works, and I, I want you to think about maybe why this is happening and what's going on here. So another number I can use is um, 1,676. In this case, this pattern continues. So we can use 1 to the first plus 6 to the second plus 7 to the third plus 6 to the 4th. And I'm not going to figure out what each, each of these are. It's, it's, I could, but what, the point is that if I add these up, I will get 1,676. And with numbers like 2,427, that works as well. 2 to the 1st, plus 4 to the 2nd, plus 2 to the 3rd, plus 7 to the 4th works as well. So why is this happening? And some of these are really astonishing. We can keep going with this pattern, and I, and I wonder, um, you know, do we ever run out of a number, or do we ever reach a point where this can't work? That's, a, that's a, something I'm wondering. So for example, 3,435 is the same thing as 3 to the third. Now we'll start at a higher power, plus 4 to the fourth, plus 3 to the third, plus 5 to the fifth. So here, something different is happening. And what's happening now? Well, uh, in this pattern, we split up the digits, right? 3, 4, 3, 5. And the exponent matches that digit. So if the digit was 4, we raise it to the fourth power. If it was 3, this is the 3. We raise it to the third power. If it was a 5, we raise it to the fifth power. And what's so amazing is it works for even larger numbers. 4, 3, 8, 5, 7, 9. Now we're in the 100 millions. This is the same thing as 4 to the 4th, plus 3 to the 3rd, plus 8 to the 8th, plus 5 to the 5th, plus 7 to the 7th, plus 9 to the 9th, plus 0 to the 0, which we'll treat as 1 for this case. Usually that's not considered to be 1, but indeterminate. That's another discussion. Plus 8 to the 8th, plus 8 to the 8th. Add all these up, and you will get this number. And this seems even tougher to generate. I'm just wondering you know, what's going on here and how do we do that. But I wanted to show this pattern to you. Hope you enjoyed.